What's up guys? Back in the garage again, trying to make some things happen, I guess. Hope y'all like the last dyno vid. Didn't really make the power we wanted, but it is what it is. We'll see if we get any better times at the track. But since then, I've run into a few problems. So first off, wideband failed. Now I did some research. I uh, contacted the seller who I bought it from to see about a warranty one. Um, and they sent me some information. I guess my placement on the wideband, it being too sideways, is not really good for the element. So it caused it to burn out or fail or something, period. Uh, so like the moisture, the vibration. Also with the vibration, I have a rattle at like 2,800 RPMs. So this, this manifold, it's an eBay manifold that someone put a megaphone on and sold it, whatever bought it for the megaphone that's literally it it's very thin metal so i think it's moving around a lot so i need to make a brace from the megaphone to the engine normally factory uh exhaust manifolds have that my dc sports has that but i never used it because i never needed to this it's rattling a little bit so i'm going to make a brace from the megaphone to the engine to keep it from vibrating and hopefully that helps because on the dyno, I was having some issues with the bolts, uh, I mean the nuts, coming loose and backing off. So hopefully that will help with that as well. Uh, I don't want it to vibrate loose and I don't like the rattle, so I'm going to clear that up. So I'm going to get the car in the air, get the front bumper off, because that's the only way to take, it. take the manifold off. And we'll get to looking where I have to mount this brace at. Uh, I also need to figure out where to mount the wideband because when I first moved the megaphone for the wideband placement was because the wideband would have came in contact with uh, the steering rack and the sub rear subframe in the front here. So I have to find a place where it'll sample good air but also be okay to not hit anything, not wrap up with the axle, you know, just have good space. So we're gonna get into that and i'm gonna see where i can mount this brace and where we can put the new bung that i got for the wideband all right so i don't know if you guys will be able to see this but okay so yeah you can so uh the wideband is at too far of an angle sideways although it is in between nine and three which is basically completely sideways which i was told between 10 and 2 but I think that it's too far sideways and it's causing it to burn up. So I'm gonna try and relocate it up here, but um, I got a new bung. So I'm just gonna cut a hole and weld in the bung up here. And then it's just gonna go basically straight up. Should be out of the way of the um, axle and should be good. But also I wanna create a brace that goes from this bolt hole down to the megaphone. I. I'm going to run into complications because taking this on and off, I'm going to have to probably drop the bar because if I have a big old piece of metal sticking up right here, it's already difficult enough to get this thing on. So I'm probably going to have to drop the bar to take it off, but I'm going to try and find a piece of metal with a hole, bend it up real quick, try and make it to about here. So it's like kind of back and weld it on. And, and uh, hopefully that gets rid of the rattling because I think it's, I think yeah pretty sure that's what's causing it but we'll see so i'm gonna get the wideband out get the header off and pull the header out but first i'm gonna get a piece of metal with a hole in it bend it up see where it goes see where it needs to go and probably tack it into place all right so um i went underneath and i looked at kind of how it's gonna be so i'm gonna cut this like this right and then half of this will be squared off i'm going to put a hole in here that'll be bolted to the engine and then this uh part that's bent down i'm going to come down here and round this to the the circumference of the header basically so this will be probably will be round under here and then this will be the support piece um hopefully this clears up my vibration it's only at 2800 and it's only on d cell so if this takes some stress off the header, stops backing, loose the bolts, I'd be happy. Uh, I just want the noise gone, basically. And then from there, once we have that done, we can uh, mock up, uh, we can cut the hole for the um, wideband 
welded on and we good we'll be able to go out and check afrs make sure it's running good because i tuned it with zero compensation at 100 degrees and it's getting down to like 70 degrees um during the day or during the night time which my uh intake air temps are registering about like 10 degrees difference eight to ten degrees difference at night time so i don't want to run lean um i've roughed in some numbers like three percent at wide open throttle at 80 degrees intake air temp to try and compensate for some of the cool air so uh i definitely need my wide band to be working so i can see if those are even accurate the car feels good it feels very very responsive and very quick but i don't want it to be running lean because i don't want to knock so we're gonna get, I'm gonna get uh, this piece mocked up real quick and then get the get it tacked, pull the header out, get it welded, and then weld the new hole, cut the new hole, and weld the new hole for the bung. All right, so I got this piece made up. Uh, this will bolt to the block, and then this fits the contour of the exhaust. I'm gonna bolt it up in place and tack it, and then I'm gonna pull it off and weld it, and then we can drill our hole for the new wideband bung and put the new wideband in and we're basically done so hopefully this doesn't cause any issues with it coming on and off i might have to drop the front traction bar we'll see but hopefully all goes well because i want to be done but we'll see how it goes Alright, now with, with that bracket in the way that I welded, tacked on, uh, I can't get the header out, so I do have to drop the front traction bar, which is not a big deal, just hope my alignment stays true and straight, but it's these two bolts and then the two for the radius rod pieces, these two, those two, radius rod, radius rod, drop it, and then we'll pull that header out and get it finished. So this is probably a very jank way of doing this, but uh, I don't have anything to cut this hole out. I don't have a hole saw. So I'm basically just gonna cut uh, a couple lines across it with the, with the wheel and uh, fold back and forth the pieces to try and break them off and then weld this in place. Uh, that's my only option currently. So that's what I'm going with. Let's do it. This is not working well. All right, this is ugly, but I literally just cut a square into it, um, and I test fitted this with an oxygen with the old wide band in it. And it doesn't come in contact, so I just gotta center this real nice, weld it, make sure everything else is around, welded around it so that it doesn't uh, leak or anything. We should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this, and then we can. We should be good to put it back on. Well, it's ugly, but it'll do. Um, so I'm not even mad. I'm gonna clean up the inside because there's uh, some slag or whatever you want to call it, some leftover weld that punched through that I had to fix. So I'm gonna clean that up, and then we can put it back in the car. All right, got the wide band installed. I calibrated it. So let's see if it if everything works as it should. It should say. 14.6 and then go down to 14.0 and then back up to lean if it's working properly That's the warm-up process with these so let's See what it does 14.6 5 4 3 2 1 0 Rich back to lean and it should say air eventually That's working it says air, new wide bands installed, 
the brace is on hopefully the placement of the wide band doesn't affect it and its function um, it's a little bit more straight up now so the heat shouldn't go into it as much but uh, I'm gonna clean up get the car on the ground and then we're gonna go for a drive and see what my AFRs look like because it is a cooler day today so I can't wait to have this gauge back I I'm not scared because it's a naturally aspirated car but there's also always that little bit in the back of my mind it's like am I super lean what am I doing right now you know that's why these gauges are like super super important for diagnostics but also for like the health of your vehicle like on a boosted car if you don't know your AFR if it goes out for some reason and for some reason you run lean that could be the end of your motor so something like this is like 100% super important so let me get the car back together and we'll go for a drive all right guys I got the uh, laptop hooked up GoPro set up so you can see me going some driving you know what I'm saying and uh, we're gonna check the AFRs do a couple pulls uh, I gotta head to my house and then I gotta go run some errands but for that we'll get a couple pulls in see what see what she looks like for fueling and go from there all right well I don't hear any more vibration which is good so that brace worked to be smoother so instead of targeting like a 15.0 which I could with a stock cam or a 14.7 uh, targeting 14.5 at cruising 
and then wide open throttles 12.9 around about. Um, but I went from targeting a 14.7, 14.8 to targeting a 14.5, and the car just it stopped sputtering. It felt so much smoother. Um, just these cams, they want a little bit more fuel. They, they this engine wants to breathe, wants to go. So needed a little bit more fuel for that. Sometimes shit sucks. So I did a pool and I missed second. And after that, everything was just reading lean like the whole time. So I think either one of my welds feel, failed or it it pulled open where like the V-band was. And maybe I didn't tighten the V-band or something. So I need to check that um, and tighten that up. Hopefully that resolves the issue because I did not just buy a new wide band sensor for it to go bad because of an out an air leak so uh the car is running fine it feels strong so i know it's not actually lean but i need to check and see if there's a hole or something because that sucks so meh. it is what it is uh we'll figure it out
Well, my weld's broke. Um, the lean mixture that I was talking about, uh, yeah, the weld's broke where my tab is to support the header. Um, I guess, I don't know. I think my, I don't know if my welds weren't good enough or if the metal is just thin because I did burn through it a couple times. But I'm going to see however it is and try to weld it while it's on the car. That way it's unstressed. I think maybe having it stressed a little bit also caused it to break. So I'm just going to basically weld it, try to weld it how it is right now. So we can make it to Import First Domestic tomorrow or Import and Domestic tomorrow at ATCO. Um, it's like 9 o'clock um, Saturday night. And I got to be up and leaving my house tomorrow at like 5 a.m. So I got to get this welded and get home and get some sleep so I can leave at the right time so I'm not late. Um, I can't wait to see what she runs. Hopefully she picks up some time. But let's get this bitch welded and let's send her tomorrow. <laughs> Damn. Um, I guess because of how I welded it. Trying to shine it without blocking the light. Uh, it cracked, but also I know it's hard to see. Right up top there is a hole, cause it broke, and then it broke off a piece of a chunk of the manifold. You see, there's a fucking massive hole there. What the fuck? Well, that puts a kink in my plans. I don't think I'm making it tomorrow. I definitely don't have the time to do that and get sleep and be able to function. So, yeah, that's another day's worth of work. Um, so, I guess I'm just going to miss uh, import and domestic or import first domestic tomorrow. That's cool, though. We'll, we'll get to track. A couple more times this year before the year's over, so we'll see what she runs. I guess we'll be fixing this tomorrow, though. Alright, we're back at the garage. Um, I'm gonna weld on a plate, sort of, on the header, and then weld the bracket back to the plate to kind of reinforce it so it doesn't move. Because um, it broke. There's a gaping hole, as you saw in the last clip. So, we gotta fix that. And uh, remember when at the dyno vid when I said Malik busted his windshield? Well, it's got that pearly new windshield on today. Looking real nice and real clean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he was able to keep the stock um, rubber, so that's good. But we're going to go ahead and get this thing wrapped up because we didn't make it to uh, import versus domestic on Sunday. So we're going to try and make um, a Cecil testing tune on this Friday and see if we can do 1250 or anything faster than that we'll see though but i need to get this fixed so that i can see my afrs so that i can make sure everything is running how it's supposed to damn look at that big old nasty hole now how i'm gonna go about fixing this is i'm gonna cut out like a square or a rectangle and it's gonna go like from here to here and shape to the contour of the header and that's where i will weld the bracket too so it has some reinforcement so instead of just the bracket holding on to this tiny little piece the bracket will hold on to the like a fatter part more meat of the header so let's get to welding all right so got this uh square slash rectangle cut out um i just have to try and contour it to like how round the header is just contour that get that kind of like bent up so it just covers it kind of nice and neat and then weld it all down so uh, I'm gonna make a couple bends and see what she looks like okay did a little bit of belt yeah did a little bit of bending got this thing fitted up kind of nice um, back looks even the weld I can fill a little bit for not having like any real fucking tools to do this it's uh it's pretty good all the way around so i'm gonna clean up the metal on the header and the plate and then weld the header and the plate together and then we can mount our bracket back on
welds started out not so good but I lowered some of the wire speed and I lowered the wire speed and they started to look a little better um, that one I moved all the way through as one piece these other ones I stopped I was just getting a little nervous of it burning through now we just gotta fit it back up check the distance for the bracket and weld the bracket on and basically done and we could see y'all on Friday at testing tune so let's see what we could do okay so got it tacked in place while it was on the car I'm gonna weld it up real nice and we can put it on and be finished and yeah then we'll see y'all on Friday so let me get this thing welded and yeah and just like that she's done uh, it doesn't look fantastic these thin welds are like I guess seal welds it just looked weird at the top and the bottom so I just sealed it whatever uh, it should work this is the beefiest header bracket I've ever seen um, yeah so we're gonna put it on and send her all right guys it's finished it's all back together the bracket worked um, I'm gonna start it up quick and give you guys like a little sound clip and uh, just to see what it sounds like with the full exhaust I know you guys heard the dyno but why not just like a full start or whatever cold start a little bit cold start you know Guys.